A common misconception when it comes to our taste buds is that they are just there to help us enjoy food. But that's only part of the story. In reality, these taste buds, which you could think of as tiny chemical guards in your mouth, act as chemical sensors, constantly scanning for toxins and potential threats, or whether you should take the next bite from your favorite home-cooked meal. Now, interestingly, if you were to put your tongue under a microscope and zoom in, you would see it covered with four types of small bumps called papillae. Three of these types, known as circumvallate, fungiform, and foliate, are responsible for detecting taste. The fourth type is focused on texture, temperature, and even pain. Each papilla contains several taste buds, which look like tiny garlic-shaped structures. Inside each taste bud are 50 to 100 special taste cells. These cells have receptors for five officially recognized tastes, and you're probably thinking right now, wait, there's an official list of certified tastes? Yes, scientists have identified the five as sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and umami. However, there could be more yet to discover. Now, as we move further into uncovering how taste buds work and what they are exactly, one common thing we often found in our research were these things called tongue maps. These maps claim different areas of your tongue are responsible for different tastes. The truth is, these maps are misleading. Your taste buds are actually spread out across your entire tongue, not neatly organized into sections. And they don't stop there. These taste receptors are also found in other parts of your body, including your nose. As we mentioned earlier, these receptors can detect potentially harmful chemicals, but we didn't mention they can also trigger a defensive response. For example, bitter taste receptors in your nose can cause cells to flick away bacteria and release these antimicrobial proteins to fight off infections. These special receptors aren't just limited to your mouth. They've been discovered in the lungs, gut, and even the testicles. So if all of that is like having a tiny built-in security system spread throughout your body to sense harmful chemicals, where does the actual part we all love come in? The taste. Well, there's an important difference between taste and flavor. You see, taste is the direct sensory perception captured by these taste cells, but flavor? Well, flavor is the whole experience, smell, texture, and even the temperature of your food. The taste receptors that contribute flavor send information to your brain's gustatory cortex, which assigns meaning to the chemical input. Each taste receptor responds to particular chemical compounds in food and drink, helping your brain understand what you're consuming. As we look back in time, taste buds haven't just been about enjoyment. They've played a crucial role in humanity's evolution. They've acted as a guide, helping us decide what we should ingest or shouldn't ingest. Sweet foods often indicate energy-rich nutrients, while bitter foods can trigger revulsion, warning against potentially toxic substances. Some scientists argue that if a certain flavor doesn't impact survival, mutations can eventually block its perception altogether. For example, cats and sea lions can't taste sweetness because it doesn't influence their survival. In the end, your taste buds are more than just flavor detectors. They're tiny chemical guards letting some molecules pass while signaling to your body the presence of beneficial or potentially dangerous chemicals. So the next time you enjoy a meal, remember that your taste buds are working hard to keep you safe.